Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex celebrated their 20th wedding anniversary earlier this year, however the couple almost didn't make it down the aisle in the first place. According to a royal biographer, they were precariously close to breaking up early on in their relationship. Sophie and Edward first met in 1993 in London at a charity tennis match organized by the Prince, and began dating shortly after. But according to Ingrid Stewart's 1995 book Prince Edward, in 1994, Edward, who is the youngest son of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, reportedly got cold feet about their relationship. She wrote, like all couples there were moments when the effort of adjusting led to rows and disagreements and, in the summer of 1994, they came precariously close to parting. Edward became what one friend described as unnerved by the speed which the affair was developing. But if Edward was racked by indecision, a not uncommon problem amongst male members of his family, Sophie remained coolly determined, Ingrid said in her biography. She, Sophie, was not prepared to let their relationship flounder, wrote Ingrid. When rumors of the rift became public she dismissed them as rubbish. She was being elastic with the truth but it did give her the breathing space she needed to get her relationship back on track again. By the end of 1994, everything was back on track for the couple. Sophie married Edward at St. George's Chapel on June 19, 1999. They now have two children, Lady Louise Windsor, 15, and James, Viscount Severn, 11, who is the youngest grandchild of Queen Elizabeth. Sophie, Countess of Wessex admitted to sneakily listening in on people's reactions to the Queen and their conversations about her in an interview with her husband Prince Edward. The Earl and Countess of Wessex spoke to Sky News Rhiannon Mills about Queen Elizabeth II ahead of her 90th birthday in 2016. Edward explained how they liked to ride in the car behind the Queen to observe the reactions of the crowd. He said, without a shadow of a doubt. One of the best entertainments is being in the car behind the Queen's car, because that's when you see all the reactions, especially in places when they're not expecting to see the Queen, that's even better. Sophie chimed in, admitting, and we open the window just a little bit so we can hear what people are saying. They laughed at the cheeky revelation, with Edward joking, it's terrible, because they're probably all watching this. So it's not true, really but it is quite fun watching people's reactions. He added that the people in the cars behind the Queen have a great time. Prince Edward, 55, is the Queen's youngest child, 15 years younger than. He married Sophie Rhys Jones in 1999, who has been described as the Queen's favorite daughter-in-law. The pair have two children, Lady Louise Windsor, 15, and James, Viscount Severn, 11. The Countess revealed how Louise had no concept that her grandmother was the Queen until she started school and other children told her. The young Louise apparently said to her mother, I don't understand what they mean. Edward and Sophia both work as full-time royals after they quit their businesses in 2002. Previously, Sophie ran a PR firm, but became embroiled in a scandal after a media sting operation exposed that she had reportedly been using her royal connections to further the business. There were also accusations that she had insulted the royal family and a number of politicians, and she reportedly sent apology letters to Tony Blair, William Hague, and Prince Charles. However, the palace released a statement saying the reported comments were selective, distorted and in several cases, flatly untrue. Nevertheless, she stepped down from her role at the PR company to take up royal duties full-time. Edward ran a production company for a number of years making documentaries and dramas. The company's output had a mixed reaction, with some documentaries selling well but other aspects attracting criticism, it was claimed Edward was exploiting his royal connections and that he invaded Prince William's privacy while he was at university. However, both the Earl and Countess of Wessex now dedicate their lives to royal duties and raising their children. Asked whether he was given any instructions as to how to conduct himself during walkabouts, Edward revealed he had to guess. Recalling the first time, he said, I remember vividly the awful realization that we were going to have to walk through this corridor of people because the cars, I couldn't even see the cars, 
they were around the corner, and our parents just set off and started talking to people. And I thought, well, I can either walk down the middle like a complete lemon or... I think my brother was there as well, so we said, you go that side, I'll go this side, but there was absolutely no instruction whatsoever. I think the only piece of advice I was given was, don't treat it as a receiving line, so don't start shaking hands, because once you have shaken on person's hand you are completely stuck, you have to shake everyone's hand.